My mom used to always say, you know, when you're not feeling good, get up, wash your face, brush your teeth, comb your hair, you'll feel better. And there's something to be said about that. Twelve years ago, I was diagnosed with a rare form of leiomyosarcoma. With the chemotherapies, there's all types of side effects. And so not only do you have the disease process that uh, is all mostly hidden, you have the outwardly appearances of the side effects of the drugs that you're taking. I lost my hair, I lost my eyebrows. Um, I didn't look like myself, I didn't feel like myself. Part of what Look Good Feel Better is doing is trying to bring back um, the feeling of normalcy, you know, with the intent that if one, you know, looks good, one will feel better and your spirits will be lifted and you'll be able to fight this disease with more confidence. They not only brought you into a room full of women undergoing the same experiences and the same insecurities as we all had, but they gave us the tools that we needed. They taught us how to, to put eyebrows on. Look Good Feel Better is a foundation that's available. We have programming across the country, uh, as well as including locally here in Calgary. And it's to help women as they undergo cancer treatment to look and feel their best during the treatment. And in line with Swim Coast values, we believe feeling confident and feeling as great as you can is, is essential. And so we have a program called Bids for Bikinis. And we're so pleased to be able to have several uh, Canadians who have transformed a plain white bikini into artwork. So we have the artwork for sale on the Swimco website. We have it available until June 1st, and we're hoping to raise as much money as possible for the charity. We are so pleased to be able to give back to our community as part of our celebrations for our 40th year. It was important to us that we could do something for a charity that means something and is relevant to Calgarians. Look Good Feel Better is a charity that does not uh, receive any government funding, we receive no research dollars. So we depend on people such as Swimco uh, to you know, help us with donations to keep a two-hour free workshop available for every woman that needs it.